Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodworks. Uh, what I'm trying to do today is I have this little stand that I got somewhere and it's seen better days and I want to make some that are a little longer and a little shorter. So I need to cut out these 45s and I thought I would make a little jig on the bandsaw to do it. So I'm using an idea I got from the fellow creator Steve Wrench when he was making his uh, six notch uh, puzzles. So what you're seeing here is just a sliding miter on um, some scrap that I had with a couple dowels and set into it. And this allows me to set down whatever uh, blank hardboard that I'm going to need. And in this case um, I'm going to just do 45s so I can glue down those angles. So once I put the blank insert down, I went ahead and got my speed square and found the 45. And then just with um, a piece of hardwood, um, figuring out what the length will be, I went ahead and grabbed some CA glue and I'll glue that down. So I like to use the CA glue because when I'm done with it, I can just pop it off easily and just... Um, put a little bead on there and then of course the activator works really well to um, have it set almost instantly so just spray a little activator on the uh, hardboard there and uh, she's good to go I can go ahead and start cutting some uh, some lengths and uh, it's a nice little jig as you can see I extended it out a little long so I can make a nice cut and it'll butt right up against and be a perfect 45 all right, so I got some cabinet grade plywood, three quarter inch, and I just butted it up against the blade so that I can cut these perfectly square. Again, I can redo these in hardwood or pine. I just, this is what I had laid around. So basically this is just gonna be a kind of proof of concept, um, just, you know, a little prototype of sorts. So I'm gonna lay them down and cut my 45. Now the first set, I'm gonna just uh, make my initial cut and then butt it. You gotta flip it over so they're at the right angle uh, with the short part on the inside. And I'm just feeling the uh, along the edge of the uh, of the jig, and I'm just cutting them to that length, flipping it over each time, and making my cut. And of course, I want to make pairs of these, so I want to make uh, uh, four, so I can, you know, which would be needed for each uh, for each set. So what I'm doing here is I wanted to make one a little longer, so I needed to somehow put a little stop block in there. Um, first, I'm going to make some shorter ones, so I put the stop block uh, down, and it's just basically taken about an inch off of the length of them. And I did a similar thing for the longer ones. I just extended it out so that I'd have a place to, to do a repeat cut and make them all the same length. The nice thing about the CA glue is you just pop it out and you're ready to go and you've got that ready for the next jig. See, now that I'm done with this, I can pop pop it off and I can reuse this at a second time. And then I have this slider uh, that I can uh, put a different jig on. So you can make as many of these at whatever angles you need and for repeat cuts. Again, I know there's like probably a hundred different ways to do what I did, but that's how I do it anyway. And I now realize why I make prototypes, because I made an odd number. That's not going to work, so I'm going to do them all over again. Well, more of them. Alright, so this tip is about the uh, bolt that holds the blade onto the arbor. Now I need to remove this so that I can uh, throw in a dado stack to work on my project. And I'm sure everybody at some point has dropped that bolt down into the dust collection. So I take the wrench that they provided and attach to it, I'll put a neodymium magnet just simply on the end of it, sort of a skew of, so of sorts. And there you go. I just set it on the side and I use it sort of to twist the bolt right off the end of the arbor. And it also serves the purposes, once I have it off, it attaches it to it so I don't have to drop or lose that, that bolt. Yeah, and even when I take off the uh, washer, 
um, I have a place to set it down that I know it won't get bounced around because that little magnet will hold on to it nice and tight. And then I just replace it with the dado stack. All right, I hope these tips came in handy. Thanks for watching. This is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks.